The Whiteness Project is a multimedia documentary described as an investigation of how Americans identify with being white. 21 Caucasians from Buffalo, New York, talk very candidly about their race. The result is provocative and sometimes just a little uncomfortable. What does your whiteness mean to you? Uh, you know, what does it mean to be white in our country? There's probably a little guilt there. There's been things that white people or our race has done that maybe we're not proud of. It's my honest opinion that today the white race is the one that's discriminated against. There should be more white people speaking up and talking about white people. I liked him. The Whiteness Project was just released online. Whitney Dow is the director and producer. Good morning to you, Whitney Dow. Good morning. So I got this yesterday. I intended to watch two, maybe three. I ended up watching all of them because I found it so fascinating. And then I look at you, a white guy talking to white people about what it means to be white. What was your intention here? What were you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White Man. Mr. White Man, Whitney B. Dow, yeah. Yes. The, uh, um, you know, I've been, I've been making films about race for a long time, about eight years with my, I have a black producing partner, Marco mm -hmm. Williams, and I've always been struck that every time there's things that are done on race, it's kind of an oppositional construct or sort of a victim perpetrator, mm -hmm. which I always felt allowed normal white people to look at it and say, well, that's really not me. That's some racist white person doing something and perhaps I could do something that I could have white, normal, regular white people who aren't, don't consider themselves racist, mm -hmm. look at it and process how their whiteness affects their lives. Mm -hmm. there, there is this too, and you released this on, online and that stirred up some emotions. And a lot of people are white talking about what it means to be white, but there's also African Americans talking about it. Take a look at this. For some reason, some black people kind of hold on to the... Uh, back in the day, the slave thing, or they feel they're not being treated right. Should slavery be something that, because it happened, we owe black people something more? Absolutely not. I know, Whitney, the point you were making that was interesting to me is that most white people don't believe that there's a race problem, and they don't think that being white is even an issue for them. That was fascinating. Yeah, and I think if you look at the, if you look at the pieces and you look at the statistics, if people see, you know, you sort of short clip, but after each clip, there's, uh, we did a lot of research yes. on how white people view race in America, and so the things they're saying are hopefully representational of how a large portion of white people feel. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we be trying to get away from identifying ourselves by the color of our skin? Um, I, I think that that's, that's actually one thing that I'm actually going right after. I mean, should that be a defining characteristic? It is a defining characteristic, and that's just the reality of it. And mm -hmm. I think that white people would like to think that it's not a defining characteristic. And I think for years we've sort of been, ha been allowed to sort of say, well, our whiteness is sort of a passive, passive part of our lives as instead of an active component of our lives, and I would argue impacts every interaction of every moment of every day. Mm -hmm. What's the reaction you've got? Um, it's been all over the lot. I mean, I think that, you know, it's easy. A lot of people have gone through and pulled some of the negative things. Yeah. The Twitter, uh, people sort of go to the website, take a screenshot and put up something about it. But I would say that 80 to 85 percent of the um, feedback I've gotten has been incredibly, incredibly positive, mm -hmm. both from all sides of the political spectrum, from both blacks and white people. And I kind of made it as something for white people, in a sense, but I've been incredibly, um, it's, been, it's been really nice to see the... the but are you giving a platform for people to reinforce negative stereotypes? I don't think so, no. I think I'm giving a platform for people to look at the reality of how white people are actually living in this country right now. And I think there's a disconnect between how most white people perceive their place mm -hmm. in, this, in society and actually the objective, quantitative reality of what it means to be white in America right now. And if we don't talk about it, Whitney, things don't change. I think it's great that you embraced it and you encouraged people to speak exactly how they were feeling. How did you set it up for them to talk so candidly? And are you worried about backlash against them? I am worried about backlash against them. And I would say I'm incredibly grateful to these people mm -hmm. for going on the air and going, you know, talking honestly about something that's a very, very hot topic. And um, if you want to attack anybody, attack me for putting it out there. They, they don't attack them. And I just, I sat people down and I asked them very, very, very simple questions, such, such as, um, what is it that makes you white? Mm -hmm. 
can you describe any benefits that you've got from being white? Mm -hmm. Not radical questions yes. and people, but things that white people don't at, get asked very often. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you. Good to have you here. Thank you. You can see the Whiteness Project on PBS's POV website, American Spin.